Are you gonna help mommy open the orchid box? Maybe, maybe not. The example of the stare down look. Mommy, you need to go lay down and nap. You are going to have a migraine. Hello, my YouTube friends and family. I am just in my grow room cleaning the leaves off of all of my orchids with a little bit of insecticidal super soap kind of like a neem oil just spraying it on those makeup discs and then gently wiping the dust and particles off of my plants and it's okay to rub this on in the day on the undersides probably don't want to do it at night when it's dark and cold because that's when the plant opens up all of its little air vents, particles, I don't know what you want to call them, and lets the air in for the night so we don't want to damage any of that. My Catalea here is not doing the greatest but it's hanging on. I know it doesn't have any fresh roots like its co-partner in crime up on the shelf that we we looked at one day this one that just had no roots this one's gone downhill where it doesn't have any roots either but she is strapped in with wire into the basket hoping to leave her in place and just hope that she will grow roots in her time i water her and i know that the bottom of the media which is mostly bark and big chunky bark and some rocks and perlite isn't uh, absorbing the water and the nutrients and stuff. So I just keep keep on with her. But these are kind of dead inside. I can see they're not going to produce anything this year. This one looks like it's getting ready to pop through the end. But I think I think it's not going to produce anything. But it's my first year with Catalea's, and I think I over potted them and over watered them to start with but we will just keep pressing on she is bound down in to this basket and there's lots of airflow and it drips right through so I'm hoping if I just keep doing what I'm doing roots will start growing it's one of the reasons I started in the grow room this morning this afternoon was to film an unboxing box down below. I have opened it up. Like I said, there should be two things. It was the last order for December. With it being cold, it was raining today when it arrived from Hawaii. But it is just a one day transit. Like they are bigger than I anticipated, which is nice. They are unfortunately wet. This one is wet. First one is wet all around. I can feel it and it's soggy. It's just, I have a feeling. Have a broken arm. That's discouraging. It does have roots though, so I think I will try to pot her in separately. And this is the plant. And I think the cold did affect it. I can feel that there. It's been in my house here warming up, but it does have a lot of brown spots on it. Mm. That's discouraging. This is a epi, I think it's an epidendrum, Wedding Valley Eubenai. Eubenai? Epi Valley, or Wedding Valley Eubenai. I will put the name up on the screen for you.
come the stars, come to shine when it's dark. And it does have some roots growing right out of the top of it. Pretty unique. It does look like it is going to try to flower for me. Those are buds. There and again over here. And there are lots of roots coming around. I'm just looking for, it's in such a haphazard, soggy mess. I'm just looking for more damage. But there are some growing tips. see because I am one of those people that just can't wait to see I see that it is in sphagnum moss which isn't what I grow in at my house and it's pretty soggy it does have some bark in there I will let her dry out and I will keep her in this moss until she's done blooming hopefully We'll get some blooms out of those. But I will clean her up. Check out those spots. If you think it means something that I should know about that I don't know, please let me know. Doesn't look like anything crawling. But this is obviously, you know, some of the leaves just pop rises. I do see new shoots at the bottom here so we'll give it a go we'll see the best that we can do with it and you know just do your best let's see what plant number two is it looks a lot bigger we'll save this one piece and try to rescue it Unfortunately, I can feel that the paper is wet on this one also. Unsnip it from the box. gonna produce some flowers let me tell you what she is look at those roots this now you might be able to see it a little bit better she's got roots hanging all off the pot whether they're still alive I don't know but she is and this is a thong chai gold splash if I remember correctly I love the flower it's a green tone I love the flower and I think I bought her already once let me see if I can find her on my shelf and see the comparison in size this one is blooming right now. And so I'll see how big my other one is and we'll compare them. But if she's top heavy, let's lean her up against a pot. Let's see, we'll lean her up against this pot. There. And the sibling to that is this one who is a lot smaller. Can you see the difference? Here she is with one, two, three canes. And then this one has one, two, three. It has one, two, three, four full canes and it's starting a fifth. And definitely the thickness is really different. These are nice and thick. So I will clean up her leaves with that insecticidal soap 
it's in a bark and I already know that she'll go into a bark mix. So I think I will just peek because I'm a curious cat. Peek. Not, there's a lot of white roots, but whether they're alive, you just don't know. Sometimes they look flat and they're smushy. Yeah, they're probably not alive, but she will grow new roots. I will do my best. And I will put her in another box, clean up her roots with some peroxide. Let's say rubbing alcohol. I will um, loosen that up, spritz it down. If the leaves are dead, I will trim them. After she blooms, I will trim them. But in the meantime, I will spray it with hydrogen peroxide in case there are any critters, bugs, spiders, snails, slugs, or any unwanted friends that jumped on the bandwagon over here. So I will just shake her out now on my mat here because she's going to go to the sink. And um, yeah, all of these are dry and dead. So mostly what this poor lady has survived on are these outside roots, I'm thinking. But end of the season, I didn't expect them to be as beautiful as some of the beginning of the seasons, you know, when spring and summer kick off. But we'll work with it. I'll see if I can dunk it and swish it in some fertilizer water and get her greened up as much as she will green up and we'll go from there i thank you for stopping by today and watching and you have a great day until we talk again bye, -bye.